It's the NFL on EA Sports, where division rivals will clash in the NFC North. It's the Lions and the Vikings, and it's coming up next. A very warm day outside by Minnesota standards, but then again, it is still summer. Either way, the AC is working just fine at U.S. Bank Stadium in the Twin Cities. It can certainly get loud inside this building. And just a few moments ago, when the Vikings were introduced, it was downright shaking in here. They're set for football as the Vikings get ready to do battle with the Detroit Lions. With my good friend Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gaughan, and Charles, we have arrived at another new season. Had a little more pep in my step this morning. <laughs> I know you did as well. Here we go. Yeah, when you went out for your five-mile jog, you were flying. You did it in record time because you were psyched up about this game. But let's be frank about it. No more radio shows. No more podcasts. No more just predicting what's going to happen. Now we get to see it on the field. Season will begin at the 25-yard line. Minnesota's offense and QB Kirk Cousins set to go here. And one nice thing you can always say about Kirk Cousins is that he's consistent. Always puts up nice numbers each and every year. If there is a downside to his game, it's been the lack of playoff success. All in all, though, a formidable starting quarterback at a time in the league where it's tough to find your franchise guy. The first carry now for Dalvin Cook. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. And the pressure too much that time as Cousins goes down. Sack, baby! I always love Sack. the opening game of the season, and for the players, always nice to get those firsts out of the way, isn't it? How about here? The first sack of the season. Not just in the first game, but in the opening drive. That's the way to get things kicked off. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That was no third and two. That was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. He was trying to find Justin Jefferson there, but now it'll be third down. Cousins to throw it. And a first hookup with his all pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. And he will have a Vikings first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and ten at the 44-yard line. Cousins gives way to Cook. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. 
hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Another good completion on the drive as the Vikings have a first down. This is shaping up to be a really nice-looking drive to get the season underway here. And how long do you think that they actually have been plotting this drive? I'm talking about the coaching staff, right? They've been thinking about this for a while now, and I think they're executing it even better than what they expected. Excellent job pushing through tacklers that time to pick up six. Second and four. Second and four. From the gun, here's Cousins. Looking middle, it's caught by Gronkowski. That good for six as they keep this drive right on rolling. First drive of the game. We did see this in practice, didn't we? Because they allowed us to stay and watch and see what their opening script would be, even though we don't know the exact play calls. That looks a lot like what we saw them execute, doesn't it? It really does. And in practice, it wasn't about a lot of big shots on that opening drive. They wanted to put together a series of plays, sustain it. They've done that. The defense now on their heels a little. That, that they are, and you know what else is happening now? They're gaining information. They're gaining knowledge about how the defense is planning on playing them. So not only are they being successful on this drive, they're filing things away for future drives in this game. Another two-yard gain there, but they'll need to do better this time. It's third and six. Working out of the gun, Cousins. For the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. They went with the dive look that time on defense, just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. And his kick is right there. It's good. Well, all offseason, probably a lot of thought goes into that first drive of week one. They didn't get the touchdown, but at least they got something. And what I like about it is that they didn't overthink it, because you're exactly right. A lot goes into the offseason, the preseason, to get to that first drive of the regular season. They went right downfield, mission accomplished, points on the board. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. And a look here at their go-to guy under center. I read something prepping for this game that he said prior to, and I think he really said it a few months ago, where he talked about he wants to have the type of season that at the end, he's buying gifts for all the guys who helped him <laughs> along the way. And I know that the team wants to hold him to that and really get into his wallet. But that's what good leadership gives you. You know, at the end of the season, because you've done a great job, QB, he's usually the guy who springs for the good stuff. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards and moves the sticks. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. And a good burst there gets him seven up to midfield. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now. Second is short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring it down. Michael Pierce and all of his 340-pound glory gets the sack. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. On third down, he'll drop to throw. That's caught by the big tight end, T.J. Hawkinson. It's a gain of six, but not enough, as he'll be forced to punt on their first drive of the game. Brandon, a good idea there on third down. Run a little clear out and hope you can get your receiver the ball coming across the formation. Nice design, but well played defensively, and they stop him well short. They're going to try and throw. Being chased out left. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. From the gun, here's Swift. And he's able to carve out about six there, down to the 37. The last run got six, now second and four. Back to throw. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings' 27-yard line. On the option to give to Swift here. 
takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. DeAndre Swift, 27 yards, and the Lions have taken the lead. A pretty well executed run. They were telling us yesterday, Charles, they were hoping to get everybody in sync. The line, the backs, and everybody looked in sync on that play. They were in sync, and the field tilted. And that's where we get the term running downhill, because when you've got that kind of momentum and everyone's doing it properly, as you just described, it does feel like they are coming from downhill to you as a defender, and that is really hard to stop. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And he'll just take a seat in the drive when we get it to 25-yard line. The Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early, or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? I actually like the early matchup for a few reasons, Brandon. First of all, it allows you to see that in the entire offseason and know, hey, right out of the gate, we're playing a division game. Second part is it spreads them out a little bit. And the pressure too much that time as Cousins goes down. Romeo Aquara, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Well, that's the second time he's been sacked so far in the first half. And if they have designs on having a big year, on going anywhere, they've got to find a way to keep him upright so he can throw the football. Back quite a ways here, facing second and 19. A give. This is Cook shedding through the defense. And there he goes again. Oh, what a juke into space. He's at the 30. 10, 5, touchdown. Vikings on just two plays have taken the lead. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is now 10 to 7. It only took him two plays there to find the end zone. The last one, the long run, getting him in for six points. The returner, DJ Chark. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. They were successful last time finding the end zone on their opening drive of the season. And they'll get another shot here with a first and ten. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. The Vikings after him, and they get there for the sack. We got a pretty good idea that they were going to pressure this young quarterback, and that's now two sacks here in the first quarter. And, yeah, this is a secret to exactly nobody, because if you're a rookie quarterback, you know you're going to see pressure. Defenses want to see how you're going to handle it, or if it forces you into making bad decisions. That's their goal. And a big gain that time. He's out of bounds on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. The Lions with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and 10. They're going to look to throw. In trouble, and he's taken down. Daniil Hunter. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. Well, the number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. This time, the rush got to him in a hurry. And he's got him. Got his man on the end round. Complete. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. Another completion there, and what a big moment in a young quarterback's life that first NFL started. Charles, obviously they wanted to win games, but if they're looking at him under a microscope in this first month or so, what do you think they're hoping to see from him? Well, for every question they'll have for him, they
they should have for themselves as a coaching staff because it's not just how quickly can he learn the offense, it's what they can teach him, right? How can he build a relationship with his receivers? And of course, how open is he to learning? And of course, how open are they to giving him things that he can put in place on the field? On second down, Swift. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. 62 yards rushing for him in this first half as he is looking in mid-season form here in the opener. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong, right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right out of him. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. So that now four first-half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's the game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. Now second and 11 from the 32. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. They'll look to throw here. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. And his kick is indeed good. And that will knot us up at 10. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones to get you into the end zone and get you six? All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Now the Vikings offense gets set to take over here. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. A running play there, going to get 11 as they get a quick first down. He's broken off some big-time runs here in this first half. Yeah, and let's just face it. When you go into a game, you think you've got the plays that are going to work, but when you actually get out there and they're starting to happen, your confidence rises, and he's running with terrific ability right now. And getting this chest shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. First down, here's Cousins. And he finds Gronk. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Three yards the gain there, second down. Cousins. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 22. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Another completion there. Yeah, you know, we think about the draft back in the spring. He was selected, obviously, the number one overall pick. There's great money with that, but Charles, I would think maybe an extra burden too, or is that not that big of a deal at all? It actually is in the beginning of his career an added burden, but it's one of those things that if you play well, it becomes something that justifies why you were taken number one. You're fine with that. If you don't play well, it can be an albatross. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now back to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. 
And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Rookie to rookie on the hookup there, and it's a first down. A nice completion there for the first down. And Charles, you think about the quarterbacks of recent vintage that have been thrust into action week one. It's no guarantee of future success, but we sure have seen some good ones. We certainly have, partner. How about Joe Burrow with the Bengals in 2020? He was excellent. Kyler Murray with the Cardinals. The best part about his game has his team right in the brink of the playoffs. And Deshaun Watson has won division titles after having started from day one. On the option to give to Swift here. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. On the option to give to Swift here. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Here's second and one now from the seven. On the option to give to Swift here. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Touchdown! A great play there with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the Lions have broken our tie as they take the lead. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Two able to connect on the extra point, and that makes it a 17-10 score. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Now the Vikings offense works their way back onto the field. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Second down. On second down, it's Cook again. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. 124 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. Here's second and ten. It's second down and ten. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Now the hit comes, and Cousins lost the football. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The good news, they kept the ball. Bad news, it's third and long. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. The Lions now are going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return, and the Lions will take over. 
Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. He's playing pretty well. I don't think it's necessarily him changing up something he's doing, but that old line, they've got to protect him better. They do. They've got to make sure that they give him more than enough time in order to find targets downfield. And sometimes what happens when these things are going on is that the, the field general will step up and say, hey, that's on me, guys. I didn't get rid of it fast enough. Anything to try and relax them a little bit and take some pressure off because they do know that they are trying. Yeah, well, we've seen the four sacks so far in this contest. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown, Detroit. A great effort there. Making quite a splash with his second touchdown in his NFL debut. And the Lions strike quickly here for six points. We saw this plenty last year in college. He loved to take his shots downfield. And that throw, that was a thing to behold there. And as that ball was hanging in the air with the receiver streaking downfield to meet it, here in the stadium, you could just sense the crowd thinking, oh, no. And their worst fears were realized as that one turned into a long touchdown. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And the lead now up to 14. One of the shortest drives you'll ever see. One play, 75 yards, six points. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Minnesota now ready for their next possession. And a first half that really has not been kind to them. A late opportunity here to maybe make some inroads on this deficit before half. And this drive's going to go a long way towards telling us whether they actually have a chance to come all the way back in this game or not. Cousins throw there, taken in by Smith. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. From the 30 on second down, Cousins. And that is incomplete here. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Cousins now. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Cousins again. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Throwing again, Cousins on second and ten. Throw left side complete. That's Osborne. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. On third down, Cousins. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Lions are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and ten. DeAndre Swift heading back out with his Detroit teammates. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated. Because you know, nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Vikings pick up the football. And did he get in? No. They'll mark him down at the one-yard line. He was under duress, surveying, trying to find somebody to get the ball out of his hands. In the meantime, the defense, they took it out of his hands. And when the ball snapped, I know exactly what the defense is thinking. Get a sack, put him on the ground. But when you can also knock the ball free while doing so, oh, there's the bonus for you as a defender. The Vikings in the hurry up. They're hustling up to the line. The 
Vikings going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. To throw is Cousins. He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. K.J. Osborne in the final seconds of the first half. And the Vikings are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. The extra point splits the uprights, and they will cut the lead down to a touchdown. So just eight ticks remaining here in the first half as they'll kick this one away. Chark set to return it. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. offense ready to kick off their next drive and with five seconds to go this will likely be our final play they'll throw now on the final play it's complete to Fuller so we've reached halftime here on opening weekend as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report coach all right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We'll begin up at legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay. And it's the Packers who have the lead as that game approaches halftime. Aaron Rodgers with two touchdown passes. We'll stay in the NFC North as we head down to Chicago to check on the Bears at home at Soldier Field and they currently trail in that game against the visiting Patriots. The Patriots looking to get their season off on the right foot. They've got the lead on the road. Finally, let's get to the country music capital of the world. See what's happening with the Titans at home in Nashville. And they have the lead over the visiting Washington football team. Derrick Henry has a touchdown run. Time now for a check of the next-gen stats in that first half for the Lions, and it was important for them to get the season off on the right foot, and they've done just that, thanks to a very solid outing by their passing offense thus far. Meanwhile, for the Vikings, they were on the other end of the spectrum in terms of passing efficiency. That's going to need to improve in the second half to come. It's a new season, so both of these coaching staffs likely making plenty of adjustments after their first half of football. So for the call of the second half here in week one, we go back to Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And he returns this to the 22. getting set to go on offense to start the third and they've got the lead CD what do you expect from them in the second half well I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball and I certainly think we'll see more of that but I keep an eye on that defense and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing if they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage That'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Five catches for him in that first half, and that's number six that we just saw, and also a first down. Looking to throw. This turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. On the option to give to Swift here. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 88 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. 
Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. First down. Stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. No gain on the Brings up second and ten. Second and ten. They'll look to throw. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from Barb. Incomplete. Now it's third down. But listen, when you've got the lead, there's absolutely no sense trying to fit a ball in where you shouldn't. You can see the coaching in his head taking place on that play because he saw he had a receiver in the area. He just put it well over his... Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by Harrison Smith. And the Vikings are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. It's the Vikings' turn on offense. We get ready for their first possession of the second half. And they just got a little help from their defense forcing the turnover. Now can they make that payoff in points? They need to, partner. They're down on the scoreboard. Need to take advantage of those opportunities. And this is a good one right in front of them. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. For the Lions, an extra DB in the game now here on third down. Cousins to throw it. But the man is Osborne. He's got it. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now Cousins. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. If you're running out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. A first down throw for Cousins. That's complete to the receiver, Thielen. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. He won't find a ton of space following the display of power as he's down just inside the 45. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. They'll try to throw now. Cousins. 
And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Now the hit comes, and Cousins lost the football. Fortunate to get that football back, because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity, because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. And Detroit getting set to go now. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate, and of course they'd like to forget the inning, the interception, but they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. Back to throw now on first down. He's got Fuller, and they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion, but I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication, and as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him up to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. On the option to give to Swift here. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. They'll look to throw here on first down. Flush to his right. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Second and nine. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. It's the Lions holding onto the football, and they also have the lead as we start quarter number four. Second and nine now. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. So a nice throw there. And, CD, I, I have to think you've been impressed with what you've seen thus far here in his debut. Now, you know me well. I have been impressed because what I've seen is him starting to understand how to play the game. In a Under pressure, and he will go down. Set back at the 38. I don't know what else can be said about this pass rush. They have been sensational. CD, that is now six sacks for them. And how many times do we talk to offensive coordinators and they say a sack is a result of everyone on offense not doing their job? But let's be honest about this one. This is the offensive line unable to counter the pass rush. They've been teeing off all game long. Steps away to his left. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on, and this one no different as we come up on a first and ten. Wide open receiver complete. Touchdown. A great play there. Now with his third touchdown in his first ever NFL game. And the Lions are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Koo able to connect on the extra point, and the lead now up to 14. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And the end result, a Detroit touchdown. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. 
The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. He'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Throwing, Cousins. And that's off the mark, incomplete. We've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. The Vikings on third down. Six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. This is third and 11. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. So a change of possession on, here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. So here come the Lions now. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. On second down now, Swift. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought we down. Go. Here we go. 116 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in the season opener. On oh, the option to give to Swift here. Shreds the tackle. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus, the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. Eluding the pressure right. He'll find Swift out of the backfield. And he gets it down to the 32. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. He'll look to throw. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Force the ball free, and it's second down. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. On the option to give to Swift here. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Stay on the ground with Swift. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. DeAndre Swift already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Lions are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. Extra point by Koo up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Vikings 17. Young Wayne Koo is set to kick off. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback. And yeah, they'll begin at the 25. Here's Kirk Cousins now, the centerpiece. Here are the Vikings. 
Vikings now to start their next drive. And whatever promise they showed in the preseason has not translated into week one because they have not been particularly competitive. And the pressure too much that time as Cousins goes down. Malik McDowell picks up his second sack of the afternoon. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Meanwhile, Cousins throw pulled in by Jefferson. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Toward the sideline, did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got a bump down, says the side judge, and that's good enough for a first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Here's Cousins. He's got his big tight end, Gronkowski. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. 15 yards last play and 15 yards here this go around. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and ten, right at the 40. Cousins again. Looking for Gronkowski, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Malik Hooker. And the Lions will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. Well, just another reason to celebrate there on the defensive side with the interception, and this is a game that they clearly have firmly in their grasp. Yeah, a lot of handshakes, a lot of hugs, a lot of smiles. It's been their day. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Now here's a pass on first down. It's knocked away and incomplete. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. He finds his man complete. That's Fuller. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. He'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. Back to throw here. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. It looked to me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally, able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield, and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think... Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring him down. Daniil Hunter able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. The Lions on third down, three for seven so far in this game. This is third and 14. They'll look to throw here. Escaping the pressure right. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds the defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback, I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. They'll call that a 33-yard punt with no return. And the Vikings will be backed up deep to begin their drive as they take over first and 10. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at their own 11. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. All fighting off the defender. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. He's going to let it fly. 
Oh, a leap, and he will make the catch. And all the way down to the 12. Come on now. Now, Let's after go. the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. I oh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. First down. Here's Cousins. Quickly to Gronkowski. That's caught. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Looking to throw again on second down. Cousins. And this is going to be intercepted. Snags it for the pick. And the Lions are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And this has been quite a performance to kick off the new year on the road, no less, as they try to finish things off here in the fourth quarter. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, you, you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. He's going to go up top again. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown, Detroit. A big play there. 77 yards. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. In today's NFL, you know, we talk about quarterbacks and their speed and accuracy, but there's still something about a guy slinging one downfield. And you'd think on third down, they'd just be looking for something right beyond the sticks. And I think they caught the defense flat-footed as a result because they decided they were going to take a shot right there, and it ended up being a big play. And that throw, unbelievably, better, folks, than 80 yards in the air, according to next-gen stats. Simply incredible. Two able to connect on the extra point, and that'll increase their lead to 28. So the drive there, they went 80 yards in three plays, and it's capped off by a touchdown for the Lions. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once. We were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some <laughs> other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. And the pressure too much that time as Cousins goes down. That right now, that's a defeated team out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. Uh, it's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten right from the word go. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Working out of the gun, Cousins. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Oh, a leap, and he will make the catch. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. On first and 10, Cousins. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Line of scrimmage again to 37 as they line up second and 10. From the gun, here's Cousins. He's going to get this one down to Cook. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. 
So third down now. They need the 